welcome back to my channel um today we're going to be doing a uh, school must have so like if you're a first time teacher or this is going to be your first time going into the classroom or you're going to be teaching um, middle school for the first time these are some definite must have so um, I have a few things that are specifically for school and then a few things that are geared more so towards the teacher um, and we'll just go through them everything that I have here I got off of well most of the things I have here I got off of Amazon I will put the links in the description box below so feel free to go ahead and purchase any of these items first up is big intensity markers um, dry erase markers so if you are um, in the area where you do not have a smart board and you're using a dry erase board these are the best markers I don't care what people say about Expo they're cool but these are the best this right here is a 24 pack um, 24 pack and it comes with one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten colors and I love these markers because they erase so nice off of whiteboards um, sometimes I'm using expos and they smear and then you got to keep going over it and they dirty up the whiteboard these erase so nice and the colors are so intense um, and they have so many different colors that you can use them for different parts of the board different aspects um, underlining things highlighting things these are by far the best markers um, another thing I like about these markers is that they they are liquid based uh, most markers are but this is just liquid there's no um, like cottony uh, cotton thing in the middle and you can see these are actually clear you can't really see it now because it's full but you can see whether or not the marker is full or if it's going low um, so you know when to replace it I bought a box of these last year and they lasted me the entire year I only took out a few at a time and um, they ended up lasting me the entire year um, again these are big intensity I usually get a box of the colorful ones and then another box of the all black um, because you can never go wrong with all black um, but I would definitely invest in these these are worth your money you're going to see a difference in your board as soon as you start using them um, speaking of things to write with Next thing I have is the Paper Mate Ink Joy. These are the only pens that I use. So I used to use the flare pens, which usually most teachers use. And then I came across these. These are so much smoother to write with. They don't dry out as easily. And these, um, like the big intensity markers, you can see these are liquid. So you can see the ink inside and you know when you're running low. Um, they come in a whole bunch of bright colors um, this is a 20 pack but they sell them in um, I think two packs and you can also get them in I think a 12 pack but I like to get the 20 pack because this can last me almost throughout the entire year as long as I'm taking um, maybe two or three out at a time and I do that and they last me throughout the year they write so smooth um, my kids love when I use these to write on their work because I'm not just stuck with red ink um, to give corrections or feedback I have all of these different colors they love when I write them notes um, with these different colors and I think these are if you are thinking about which pen you want to use for your correcting um, these are definitely like top-notch these are like the best pen the only um, con about these pens and it also happens with the flare pens so it's not really like um, you should substitute these with the flare pens that these do um, bleed when they touch liquid so if you spill water on your um, planner or on your uh, workbook you will definitely get bleeding if you were writing with these pens but again like I said this is the same situation with the flare pens they do bleed but they dry very quickly so if you are writing something and your arm goes across it these will not smudge that way these are so good these are my favorite pens to use and I suggest if you are looking for a pen to use for grading or correcting these are the pens you should get next leaving things that teachers are going to use talking more about things that students are going to use world's best pencil period I um, usually purchase a nice amount right now and then also after winter break I usually purchase some more just in case kids are supposed to bring them to school it's on their supply list but just in case kids don't um, I like to have pencils for my kids um, and these are the best pencils to use they break a lot less and the erasers 
don't cause smudging. I even buy the thicker ones um, for those because though I use those as pencils that I do not want my kids to take out the classroom. Whereas if I'm giving these out, it's usually like a ticket system. Um, if they have a ticket, they can purchase the pencil with the tickets. Um, so that they can have something to write with and I don't like giving them flimsy dollar store pencils because it doesn't really serve the purpose that I want it to serve I want them to take less um, time going to the sharpener to sharpen pencils and that's exactly what these allow them to do next I have this and this is actually red when I purchased it it was red I'm sorry it's pretty loud um, but that's probably what I like about it this is the timer I got this from Lakeshore this is probably one of the only things I didn't get from Amazon I got this from Lakeshore this timer is top-notch and this is a little bit pricey I, um, I think I bought it for 25 maybe even $30 but it is hands down one of my best purchases you can set this up um, it has like a little thing you can sit it up on your desk or on a board or what I did last year was I put velcro on the back of it and I put velcro on my board and I had this timer app at the top of my board so when I was giving my students time assignments so like hey you guys have 10 minutes to do questions one through eight they saw exactly how much time was left and then sometimes kids would yell out hey we got three minutes keep working and so it was a good way to show them that this is how much time you got make sure you're working on a better pace and the timer is pretty big it's huge kids in the back of my class can see it um kids in the front of my class can see it it looks good at any angle and the timer is very loud um you can set this up to 60 minutes it has a minute and a second timer um it counts up and it counts down and you can um change the volume of it and what I like is like if I gave my kids a one minute drill, they knew that one minute was on a timer. And if I hit start, they knew that when that one minute was up, that, that, that their time was up and they knew to start passing up their papers or start swapping papers for grading. And when I say this, it holds everybody accountable. It holds my kids accountable. It's not like I said, y'all have one minute and then I monitored it sneakily. And then I told y'all times up out of nowhere. You can look up at any time to see your um see how much time you have left to make sure you are on the right uh pace um i spray painted this gold and uh gold because my room was gold last year um, i'm thinking about spray painting it again because it has faded this is how much i'm using it it has faded this is a daily use kind of item um it's faded so i am going to spray paint it again before the new school year starts but when i say this is so good this is so good it is probably one of my uh biggest purchases but something that i felt like it was definitely worth the money um it holds everybody accountable like i said before and um and my kids enjoy it. they enjoy that accountability they enjoy seeing like oh we have one minute left seeing how where they are in the process and saying miss wally can we have a couple more minutes or can we um get two more minutes or when the timer is around 30 seconds i'll do like a temperature check telling my kids to raise their hand for the number of minutes they think they need and it's a great way to just get them involved with it have them manage their time responsibly and i think that it's a big investment um because it is a lot of money but it's not a small timer it's not flimsy you're not going to use it lose it it's pretty big and it's pretty sturdy um and it is by far worth the money um next thing we have is a wireless print um presenter these uh are used for powerpoint presentations so if you're like me um i like to use my lessons during my lessons i like to use powerpoints and this allows me to be anywhere in the room and still click through my presentation and not have to be stationed right by my computer or not have a kid click through it for me. Um, and it is so beneficial because it allows you to see exactly what your students are doing because you can be next to a student while you're presenting or you can use the laser to point at things and you don't necessarily have to be stationed right in front. You can move around the room, fill the space, see if kids are having misconceptions on their actual work as you're moving around and like by far this is one uh, again one of the things that you always want to have especially if you're using powerpoint presentations in your uh lessons and i use powerpoint because i don't necessarily use powerpoint i usually use uh slides on gmail because it's so much easier to edit and the edits update 
um, seamlessly and I love that and I enjoy that about those uh, and so I use this with Google Slides as well and it works pretty good now this one takes the one AAA battery but they also sell one where you can charge it and it saves you a bunch of money in the long run because you're not running around looking for AAA batteries and the way it works this little receiver piece plugs right into your computer I don't think you have to download any software I've never had to download any software to use it and then when you're done using it this little piece just magnet magnetically goes back into here so you're not losing these things it also has a pointer screen and the on and off button so you're not wasting any battery and it's the size of a pen um so if i have one of these markers it's about not the same thickness but the same length um as a dry erase marker and so you can just throw this in your pocket or have it on your shirt or in a shirt pocket excuse me and it's not like heavy you don't have to like it's not awkward you can put this wherever you put your pens at and you can always have it with you and it's a great way to get around your room and not feel like you have to sit right by your computer in order to get through your slides next thing we have astro bright paper and this is a ream of 500 sheets best thing one it's really good for if you are in a classroom and you want something to stand out these are the colors that are do these are bright neon colors one two three four five it comes with five different color sheets um so a hundred of each sheet um when i was teaching a younger grade we used to do uh passes for each class and each class had a different color pass so that way you knew exactly where students needed to be if you want to send something out to a parent and you want it to stand out if the parent is going through someone's book bag these are the colors you want to use this is the paper you want to print those things on if you want to print something that you don't want to be copied so i have a ticket system that i'll do a video on a little bit later um, that i use for my kids and it's pretty inexpensive an inexpensive reward system for my kids and i print those tickets on this paper so that my kids can't just copy it um on to copy use a copy machine because if you copy this these kind of papers depending on the color the color will turn uh it will come up a little bit grayish um so these are definitely very useful and it's a nice alternative to if you would like to print something in color but you don't have a color printer printing it on colored paper is the next best thing because it still allows it to pop and stand out but it saves you uh that money i usually have these and i use them for a whole bunch of different um things i would definitely suggest especially if you are in a primary or a middle school setting definitely suggest investing in some of this um i also would suggest investing in excuse me regular white cardstock um i don't have a pack with me because it's probably upstairs but definitely invest in regular white cardstock you can get a ream of it off of amazon because those uh cardstock is definitely something that's very beneficial uh in the classroom you never really know what you want to be super sturdy um so you should zoe um, you should definitely invest in some of that as well. And you never know what you could use it for. Another thing that I don't have with me that I would also invest in is a electric sharpener. Um, I use the Exacto electric sharpener and it works wonders. It's very quick. Um, I do not allow my kids to have personal sharpeners. The reason why is because it um if they fall if they crack they make a mess all over the floor um so you definitely want to invest in an electric sharpener and then have a specific time during the day when the students can sharpen their pencils um moving on to something more geared to the teacher insulated water bottles so as you can see i have two insulated water bottles i also have a thermos um these are water bottles that I got off of Amazon and they are literally my life like they are my life so this one this water bottle is a 40 ounce and then this one is a 64 ounce what I usually do is during the day we really don't as a teacher you don't really have time 
to do um, to go back and forth to the water fountain or go back and forth to the water uh, dispenser and fill your water bottles up so what I do is when I leave the house in the morning I make sure I have ice and water in this and like I challenge myself to drink it throughout the day and then um, in the summer I carry this around because it's easier for me to go and fill it up so this currently has ice and water in it but during the year tea if you do not drink um, coffee but if you drink coffee coffee this will keep your coffee warm until you're done drinking it 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 literally will change your life and same thing with tea if you put your tea in here hot your tea will stay warm and hot for the entirety of the day until you're done drinking it now I don't know if many people are going to drink a 64 ounce um, 64 ounce a bottle of tea but you can use the same um, do it the same way with this but I usually like the bigger one for water and then the smaller one for tea um, I don't drink coffee but if you drink coffee put your coffee in here it, it's insulated so it keeps warm things warm cold things cold and so if you put something cool in it it will remain cool throughout the day if you put something warm in it it will remain warm throughout the day definitely invest in these because you want to make sure that you are taking care of yourself as well as taking for care of your kids um and i think this one was this one was pretty cheap this was sick this one i got this from swig savvy this is my second one of these and i think this was maybe 25 dollars and this one was maybe 20 dollars and this is a uh, simple modern i really love simple modern brand as well um so i would think yeah, I think this one was about $20. I would definitely put the links in the description box below. And this top right here is from a simple... I think it came with... This top came with this bottle. And I just used it on this thermos because the other lid, I didn't really like how... Um, I didn't have like a nice grip on it. So definitely invest in these because you want something for yourself, making sure you're taking care of yourself. And I know as a teacher, we don't really have time to stop and like think about things. But definitely keep yourself hydrated. Um, yeah, and you want to make sure you invest in something that's going to allow you to stay hydrated throughout the day. Um, yeah, so that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will be doing a video on um, my ticket system that I use. And this was a ticket system I used when I was teaching fifth and sixth grade. Uh, but I'm going to try to revamp it and use it with my eighth graders as well. We'll see how that goes. But I will be doing a video on that. A very inexpensive uh, ticket system that you can use. Especially if you are in primary or elementary school classes. Um, Alright now. Enjoy the rest of your day. Um, and I hope you guys have a good one. Bye.